Five things you need to know about interacting with me, a fat girl, who wears revealing clothes. Now, this is going to be fun. So, if you've ever seen full-length pictures of me, you probably know that I'm a fat girl. Yeah, you are. So what? I'm also a body image and fat positive activist, which basically means that I don't believe there is anything inherently wrong or bad about being fat. In fact, I love being fat. Okay, good for you. I still don't see why you need to write an article about it. Since I enjoy wearing a lot of clothing that reveals my skin and shows off my body, like crop tops, shorts, skirts and shorts, bikinis, leggings and tight dresses, I have to deal with a lot of backlash. Because, uh, God forbid, a fat woman likes the way she looks and let the world know it. Okay, you like the way you look. That doesn't mean the world does or wants to know about it. Also, aren't people entitled to their opinion? Because fat girls aren't supposed to take pleasure in our bodies, or even consider showing other people what they look like. There is a lot of shit that can hit the fan, mostly caused by other people not knowing how to handle someone as sexy as me owning it. Fat girls can do whatever they like. They can take pleasure in their bodies and nobody's going to say anything. But you can't expect everyone to appreciate what you're putting on display. And as for someone as sexy as me, I'm sure there will be people who will find you sexy. There's no denying it. But there are also people who won't. You can't expect everyone to like you just because Poor thing, you're fat. By the way, it's either us fat girls in our bodies or fat girls in their bodies. Basic English. The good news is that the fat positive movement is starting to take off and people are starting to notice. The hashtag fatkini has gone viral on Twitter. Plus sizes are starting to be sold in the stores of hip and trendy retailers like Forever 21 and H&M. And fat is starting to lose some of its stigma as a bad word. We're making progress. Is this going to turn in another one of those facets of social justice where we'll have thin people being bashed for being privileged? I mean, is this just something made up by white, straight, able-bodied women for which the oppression of being women wasn't enough. Despite this though, some people really need to get an education in how to treat fat girls who like to show off our curbs of respect. And uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm baffled by this. You want to show your curbs some respect? Uh, or you want people to show fat girls some respect? Because that would make sense, but that's not what the phrase is saying. Uh, you know, you really should give your writings a bit more thought before you write them. Okay, let's go on. Because I've received way too many dirty looks from strangers on the street this summer while sporting my crop tops and uh, booty shorts. Okay, and um, so what? People are judgmental. Deal with it. Okay, here are five things you need to know about interacting with fat fashionist fashionist oh god, they're making up words now. Okay, let's see these five fats. You need to get over it. Seriously, take a seat. Actually, take several. <laughs> uh no thanks. I am fat, but I do fit in one chair. If you're offended by me showing my stomach or the way my thighs jiggle, you need to fuck off. Oh, that's nice. My body is my own and no one has the right to tell me what to do with it. Period. Boo hoo. You have to look at fat woman's body. You do realize that we live in a world filled with violence and depression, right? Stop getting angry about that and leave my fatness out of it. I think it's you that needs to get over it. If other people's opinions harm you that much, you, your problem is not your weight, you know. You should really get your shit together and realize why you're so insecure. 
My God, I'm having trouble keeping a straight face. Don't stare. I'm a person, not I care. <laughs> the, the most common reaction I get from others when I wear revealing clothing are stares. Some people will sort of roll their eyes or look disgusted, which is the typical reaction to eye candy. Others will just stare as if I'm some kind of art exhibit at a museum. Again, <laughs> not exactly the reaction when eye candy walks by. Either way, there are a lot of stares. Look, I understand that I'm challenging your views on fat womanhood and forcing you to question your beliefs and attitudes. Oh, it's kind of self-important here. But keep this contemplation to yourself. Yes, I do notice when you're looking. Yes, it does make me feel uncomfortable. Well, I'm honestly sorry that you feel uncomfortable, really. I don't... I really am. But what do you expect? People are staring at you because of the novelty of seeing someone being proud of being fat. <laughs> I'm not some object to be admired. Uh, uh, okay. I'm a human being, first and foremost. Right. Respect my right to choose to be fabulous and move it along. Um, I think you really need a dictionary. <laughs> okay. Keep most, but especially negative, comments to yourself. I kind of doubt that people are stopping you in the street and telling you you shouldn't dress like that. It's more likely that you're overhearing people who are keeping the comments among themselves. You might have the urge to shame me for daring to own my sexiness as a fat girl. Or you may even want to compliment me for my taste. But either way, I really don't want to hear about it. Well, your sexiness is still to be demonstrated and as for your taste if it your picture is anything to go by i don't think you're going to get many compliments at any time but carry on as for not wanting to hear about it well i'm sorry you can't stop people from talking i'm just going trying to get a latte at starbucks get to class or finish writing an article um, yes, about writing an article. I'm sure that all the cat calls saying how sexy you are are stopping you from proofreading uh, your articles because there's a definite lack of that in, uh, well, in this one at least. I really don't want to engage in conversation about my identity. Well, depending on how you define identity, the conversation isn't about your identity, or any conversation can be about your identity. So, you know, kind of catch-22. Sure, positive comments can be cool, flattering even, but I notice a lot of these comments are objectifying. Oh, God. And of course, the feminism comes out. If you have something nice to say, find an even nicer way to say it. Uh, uh. Okay, so how, my, how many nicer tones does the comment have to register on your nice meter? Uh. If you're about to tell me I have nice tits, don't. Just tell me I look nice today. you get that a lot? I can appreciate a good compliment. Uh, no, you've been saying until now that you can't and you don't want to hear them. Uh, see, you may even want to compliment me for my taste. I don't want to hear about it. And then, a few lines later, I can appreciate a good compliment, but you don't want to hear about it? <sighs> but I also don't want to hear comments about my body. Um, you do realize that compliments are a subset of comments. Stick to my outfit, which is on your body. And as a fashionista, again, made up words, that's what I care about the most. Anyway, you really are looking for ridicule, aren't you? 
never ever fat shame me. My mum has this thing she likes to do when I decide to show skin. Tell me I don't look appropriate. I kind of think that your mum doesn't exactly like to do it. I mean, she, does she actually look for you to tell you uh, you don't look appropriate? Does she have enjoyment in telling you? It's funny how everywhere I go in the summertime, I see girls wearing short shorts, but the second I show some upper thigh, suddenly I don't look appropriate. Well, I wouldn't say you don't look appropriate. I would say you don't look nice to look at. And that's not really anything to do with the fat. I really do not like the way you look. Also, you are free to wear whatever you want. But I am free not to like it, am I? What exactly is appropriate and who invented this stupidity? Okay, so because it doesn't cater to you, it is stupidity. Nice. How self-centered. But seeing what goes above, I'm not surprised. Part of being an adult means choosing my own attire. The law only requires that I cover my nipples. Don't even get me started about that. Oh, you're one of those. Okay. And my genitalia. Everything else is fair game. So since I haven't started practicing public nudity yet, I'm good. Yes, absolutely. Legally, you're good. Sorry, I cannot associate that word with the image on this article. Yes, legally you're good. That doesn't make you attractive to look at. I'm sorry. These comments she makes stay with me, and because I'm a fat girl with an eating disorder, trigger me. Uh, okay, so what's missing? Cultural appropriation? That's why it's even more important to me than anything that people be respectful, because if they aren't, it can send me into a spiral. Well, are you strong or are you weak? I'm sorry, you can't say I'm strong and powerful I do what I want and then uh, with the minimum comment coming from a stranger you go into a spiral you get triggered if you think I'm gross or need to cover up refer to number one and three on this list yeah yeah okay shut up and shut up let me know I'm doing some good well don't you know if you're doing some good some days I need encouragement, like anyone else. So seeing people like my Instagram fo- Let me know I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Doing some good means doing charitable acts, doing some good acts. You know, working in a soup kitchen, donating stuff. See what I mean when I said before, careful with the English language. Never mind, never mind. I wouldn't want to trigger you, poor thing. Some days I need encouragement, like anyone else. So seeing people like my Instagram photos on my bare belly, or telling me I look beautiful in a YouTube comment, makes me feel good. Okay, but you do realise that beauty is um, in the eye of the beholder, and if I don't find you beautiful, I will not lie to you. Or would you prefer people to lie to you? There is a thing out there called the real world. And you will not always find nice people. You will find horrible people. You'll find nice people that don't like you. Or nice people that disagree with you. So, grow a thicker skin. More importantly, it encourages me to keep pushing boundaries. And there you go. More self-important uh, Tumblr speak. So, if you think what I'm doing is awesome, or if you even like an outfit I'm wearing, tell me. That's why you didn't hear from me. You don't have to give me a full-out compliment, but even just favoriting a picture or tweet or sharing this article is enough. Okay, let me get this straight. Point one, shut up. Point two, fuck off. Point three, shut up. Point four, shut up. And point five, oh please, I'm such a nice person, like me. 
Fuck you.